Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry it's been a minute. Um, I just honestly am struggling finding the time to make these videos and still juggle my at-home life and other projects that I have on the go. So thank you for being patient with me. Um, if you're new here, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please like it. And I know one of you guys is gonna comment that I just kicked the camera, so comment away. Um, so basically this video is going to be all about my favorite hair products. But the reason I decided to do this video is because I get so many girls asking me, and I hate saying this, I guess my girls ask me on Instagram what products I actually use on my hair, how I style my hair, and all that stuff. So I figured I would just make this one-stop shop video for you guys so I can always direct everybody here. And it's super transparent, easygoing, and literally all the products on the table I'm talking about today are products I've been using for over a year. Some even five years. So these are literally my ride to dies. We all know my obsession with dry shampoo. And I think I've been on the dry shampoo boat probably for over a decade. I originally, I went to my hair salon, had this incredible hairdresser, and her hair was always amazing. And I asked her, I was like, how do you achieve such healthy looking hair, but still manage to color your hair like every four months? And her massive tip was dry shampoo. So she actually would only wash her hair once a week. And I know that sounds really gross to some people, but if you don't do like high intensity workouts, um, and you do have a good dry shampoo, I think it's totally achievable. Back then there really wasn't that many options on the market, now there's like hundreds, it's crazy. But back then there was this brand called Cake, and it was like in a little container like this, and I swear to God, it was like something you would just put as a topping, like a sugar topping on a cake like literally and it was brown one that I used it was four brunettes but it still was like two shades lighter than my actual hair so I always looked dusted <laughs> um, but I smelled good and it worked and you know I went from like washing hair every other night to like every two nights so I'm not saying it's taken me like 10 years but it's taken me like a little bit to get my hair to where it is now I'd say average I don't wash my hair like every five days I literally just, I think this is the second or third time in my life where I didn't wash it for a week. And that's the only reason because I'm busy, we're trying to do so much here at home, get our house ready for demoing, we're going to Canada soon. We just have like a lot on the go and I'm also doing some job collaborations as well. So let's just jump right into it. The reason I love dry shampoos is they really do absorb all those excessive oils, especially if you're working out like me. A lot of the dry shampoos that I gravitate to also offer hydration, which is incredible. And then it just gives you that nice scent, so like refresh. And those are like the really main reasons why I love dry shampoo. I'm gonna talk about three today. The first one that's up is the Moroccan oil. This one is really good for colored hair. This is actually geared to light tones, so this I find really enhances like the bleach undertones I have in my hair. And technically I should be using a dark tone because of like the base color of my hair, but I do love this one. So it's UV protected, so when you go outside, it is protecting your, your hair color, so I get like that brassy gross tone that happens sometimes with sun damage. And it does have argan infused oils in it. So that formula is really hydrating and nice and it's also cruelty free. So all the products that I am gonna talk about today are cruelty free, not all of them are vegan, but cruelty free I think is a must for any beauty product. So I think everyone's tried Moroccan oil, but their scent is incredible. So I'm just obsessed, it's super fresh. It like, I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells like a beach, like a holiday. As you saw, it comes up as white. And I kind of like that, I'm not opposed to it because it does, you know, I can see where it's going so then I really focus on blending that area. As you can see, it does give you a little lift, a little volume, which is always amazing. I haven't done anything prior to this, so anything you see now is from these products. Next up is my favorite for um, right before I do a workout. So this is Navy Hair Care. This is their all hands on deck dry shampoo. This one is good for all hair types. It is, even if you have colored hair or keratin treated hair, it's also SLS and paraben free. It's cruelty free and a vegan formula. So this one I think is more of a denser dry shampoo than the other ones. I really love to use this one prior to my workout 
because it really does absorb all those extra oils. And as you can see, it came up clear. Again, I don't mind that. It feels cool when it goes on, so you can really feel where it goes, so then you focus on blending that area. And this one's super hydrating. I think all of the ones, the dry shampoos I have are really hydrating. Just the formulas that they use and the ingredients. So there's already that nice lift. This one here is a really fresh scent. It's nice, but it's not my favorite dry shampoo scented one. Regardless, it's a great dry, sam dry shampoo. <clears throat> I can't speak English today. Next up, we have Playa. This is their pure dry shampoo. It's botanical formulated for all hair types, and it also is vegan and cruelty free. This one, out of even out of Moroccan oil, this one smells the best. If I had to picture Belize, and I've never been to Belize, but if I had to like describe Belize, this is the scent I would choose. It just smells like a holiday, a really nice sunscreen, like coconuts, just yumminess. I love the fact that it's vegan and cruelty free, and it just smells so amazing. And it's really hydrating, this one. Again, it goes on um, clear, but it is cool when it's applied, so you can feel really where it is. It does give you a little extra volume and it is botanical formulated. It just smells amazing. Oh, it's so good. So next up we're going to talk about shampoo and conditioner and before I even get to the products, I just want you guys to be mindful that we all have different hair types. So my hair is more like darker, it's more coarse, it's naturally curly and wavy, so it's gonna typically be on the more drier side, um, as opposed to somebody with like super straight hair and you know a different color. You really have to focus on what's good for you and just pay attention, even if you need to like write down in a diary like how your hair or your skin you know reacts to your product that's what I used to do but now like I know what my go-to's are and my ride or dies I typically wash my hair every five days and that works really well for me and really lucky because I've colored my hair three times this year and I personally think it looks super shiny and healthy for you know pretty much the damage I've brought down on it. What I'm doing is working for me, so I'm just gonna share your, my tips with you guys. Um, I think it's also important to remind you guys that I am an influencer and I get tons of products from brands, and I'm super grateful for that. I have tried a lot of the hot hair products on the market or what you'll see on Instagram. It's like always, always, always just gravitate back to this shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've been using Navy Hair Care for the last year or so. It's biotin and vitamin enriched fortifying shampoo and conditioner. They're both SLS and paraben free, vegan, cruelty free. They're great for um, color treated hair, keratin treated hair, um, even if you have extensions. So these, like I remember I had extensions when I went to the Bahamas and this was fire festival. Like I think that's another story. Our luggage got lost so I had to use the shampoo and conditioner that was in the shower and it, like it wasn't um, salon. I don't know, salon use. And I had extensions, they were beautiful, they looked awesome. And with the mix of like the salt water from in the Bahamas and then the shampoo, it just didn't do me any justice. And I actually ended up cutting the extensions out, okay? So <laughs> that's my story. And I've never gotten extensions since. So that was a trip and a half. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to point out that uh, Navy Hair Care is extension safe. They smell good, like there's nothing like amazing about the scent, but what's amazing about it is when you do wash your hair, I personally finger comb and I use a conditioner in the shower, and I'll start at the bottom because I find I get less breakage and I work my way up, but when I'm using the conditioner, it's so easy to get through the knots, and especially I have bleach in my hair, it gets more tangly, so I think that's a good thing to point out about the shampoo and conditioner because I've used other ones, I'm not going to mention them, but I've used their conditioner and I'm just literally like this. So uh, these, honestly, five out of five, <clears throat> I don't get paid from them or anything. I just really, really love them. And the shampoo and conditioner works wonders with my hair type. So yeah, they're, uh, they have their own website and you can also get them on Amazon, I think. Another big tip for me, for my hair type, is I do a hair mask once a week and I think that's really important. It's beneficial when I use a hair mask. My hair looks freaking bomb and every day, like the day after I do the hair mask, so many people on Instagram, like, you know, 
my amazing supporters, they always like comment like, girl, what'd you do with your hair? And it's the hair mask. It's the hair mask, guys. The one that I've been obsessed with right now is the Maria Nyla um, Eco Therapy Revive Hair Mask. It's 100% uh, vegan, cruelty-free. It has botanical ingredients. It smells really nice. It's sulfate and silicone-free. It's color-guarded, so it's going to not strip away your hair. UV protected again. So, like, the list goes on how great this brand is in general, but the hair mask is super hydrating. What I typically do is I wash and condition my hair, rinse, and then what I'll do is I'll apply this I'll put a warm towel around so the the warmth opens up like your hair shafts and then all that moisture can get locked in and it says to leave it on for five to ten minutes but I go crazy and I do 30 minutes and I started doing that once I started coloring my hair so maybe somebody out there who has virgin hair wouldn't necessarily do it that long but if you have had you know, hair color and hot tool damage and all that stuff, sun exposure, there's so much going on. Even environment changes the texture of your hair. Humidity, climate change. What I personally do is I put the warm towel around and then I'll put like a hair cup. I look like crazy. I look jacked up, but it works and I don't care. I don't feel myself doing it. I'm never gonna do it, so don't ask me to. But yeah, so I'll leave it on for 30 minutes and then I take it out, I rinse, and then I typically just air dry my hair. I don't like using a blow dryer because I always use hot tools. So the less you can use hot tools, the better because, you know, it's damage on your hair. I'll take the hair mask off, rinse it, and then <clears throat> I use my leave-in conditioners and my detangler. So first up, we'll talk about the Dry Bar Prep Rally Spray. This is formulated with biotin, vitamins, uh, and it's also UV blockers. It's a lightweight detangler, which I think it's important <laughs> to point out because some detanglers are super heavy in your hair, and then you, you're not really able to extend your hair wash day because you're all together, your hair just looks like heavy and weighted down. So when looking for a detangler, I, what I used to do, because this I've, I've been using this for five years and I love it. And I've tried a couple other ones, but they just don't give me the same results. And I mean, I love it, so I'm not going to switch it up. But if you're not into this, because again, I think it's a bit on the pricier side, look for reviews. Like go on Sephora, look at the products you're into, look at the reviews, and always look for a lightweight detangler. Yeah, this one is just bomb. Again, it's also cruelty free. This one's just amazing. It smells fantastic. Uh, I think out of all of them, this is my favorite thing that smells nice. And it just hydrates your hair. It just sits well with my hair. And I don't use like a whole lot. Just like spray, and I'll keep the spray down here. Never use it up here, because then you're gonna have to wash your hair like in a day or two. So always, this is for like to detangle and to condition. All the stuff up here is virgin hair. It's healthy. You don't really need to like mess with it. It's all this stuff here that you need to like take care of. So yeah, really aim the product down here. My one friend said this is a Canadian brush. I don't know if it's a Canadian brush, but this is my favorite one. And I'll always, again, start at the bottom and then work my way up so you have less breakage. So after the detangler is applied, then I'll move over to my Orbe. This is a super shine moisturizing cream. Um, it's a high gloss leave-in conditioner. So again, it's paraben free, UV protection, cruelty free. So it's just a really, really good one. I mean, if you have never tried Orbe products, now these ones are expensive. I think this bottle is like 55 bucks, but I've had this bottle for, I think like seven months and like as you can see like look how much is in there it's quite a bit so when you do apply this all you need is a dime size depending on the hair length that you have the thickness of your hair I personally use like a dime size and then I just move it around in my palms and again I just work through the bottom work all the way up that and then any leftovers if you have frizzy hair just dust it lightly. So next, what I want to talk about is hair oil. And I typically would use the Moroccan oil hair 
the Moroccan oil hair oil. Um, it smells amazing, it's really nice, but lately I've been using this one here. I think it's called Gisu. Um, it's cruelty free and it rebuilds and repairs the hair. So all you do is you, because I need to use it right now, so I'm going to show you. I just use a little bit, so it's not that much. And I'll just rub it in my hands like so. And then I'll just lightly go over the hair. Like I'm not even really touching it. See that nice shine it's got? Bam. <clears throat> and then any extra stuff, you can just lightly go over, but don't use a ton, especially if you have really oily hair because you don't want to look like a grease monkey. It's not cute. You just dust it like that, it looks pretty, and you're ready to go. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, oh, he's back. <laughs> what? I'm trying to get into this video. Do you have something in there? You see my baseball? <laughs> okay, now that I'm done being harassed by my husband, I feel like that's gonna be an ongoing thing with my videos. It's either gonna be the big kid that comes to the door or the little one. You know, the big one, little one, it's gonna get busy. I only shoot these videos during nap time, but then the big baby needs attention. So I don't know if any moms out there, wives, know what I'm talking about, but that's what I'm dealing with. Also use the hair oil after like, the third day of not washing my hair because I feel that really tricks people when you add like a nice shine, a nice like healthy bounce with the oils down here. It just looks like it's been freshly washed, it looks clean, and it's just like a quick little refresher. Dry shampoo, little dust of the oil down here, and people fall for it. So I'll start using this on the ends of my hair, third, fourth, fifth day, and then wash my hair. If I'm going to be a real dirt ball and I don't have time to wash my hair, I can get away with it. But probably on the sixth day, you'll see me wearing a hat all day long until I can wash my hair. So that's what we're dealing with now. So basically, I've styled my hair last night. <laughs> when did I do that? It was last night. So I styled my hair last night with my T3. Um, I don't know what barrel this is. I feel like it's their medium one. Um, but this actual uh, curling wand comes with three barrels, so I'm pretty sure this is the medium one. I'm going to have to double check and then I'll link it below. But this is the one I've used to achieve this hair look. Um, I curled it last night in bed while watching 24 because that's how I roll. And what I typically like to do is I hairspray my hair afterwards. But I didn't do it last night because I want to show you guys. So the hairspray I use is from Dry Bar. Um, this one is a medium hold. It is, it smells really nice. It's a little on the pricier side, but it's a good one. So what I like to do is I just like to open the hair and just spray lightly and then brush through. And I think that just like, mm, it smells so nice. I think it just like holds the style longer and it just looks so cute. And then just crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah, it's super cute. I like it. Cruelty free, medium hold, so it's movable. Um, like right now, see I can brush through the hair. It's not like, you know, I've used hairsprays like that. I'm just like, oh my God. Like five years ago being in weddings, kind of, oh my God. This one is a fantastic hairspray. So if you're in the market for one, I highly recommend that one. I feel like you can get minis of this one on the Sephora website. So if you wanted to play with it. So that's basically this hair video on products, what I use in my hair, what are my favorites, why they're my favorites. I hope this video has brought you guys value. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. And hopefully I see you guys back here next week. Bye.